you kidding me? Oh my god, my dead plant. It's so dead. It's supposed to be like coriander. Go away, Zhao An. I think dating foreign girlfriend is fun like most of the time, like 98% of the time, like we can learn from each other's culture. But it's just when it comes to movies, it's so sad. Like, she doesn't understand Cantonese movies and that makes me really sad because that's my culture and I really want to share the happiness with her but then she just doesn't understand the humor and I'm so sad. I mean there are subtitles in Stephen Chow's movies but I just don't think the subtitles there do justice. <laughs> Guys, that's why I pay so much attention to the bilingual subtitles in my video. I spent two to three hours every video just verifying it. But there are differences when it comes to different languages, like different personality, just different humor. But you know, I try to make them like 99 or 95% compatible. Yeah, just some morning thoughts from Taurus Pit. But today I'm meeting up with two exchange friends. I think it will be fun. Alright, I, I go to office first. Standing desk is my latest obsession. When I vlog, I edit my own videos because when I film, I already think about how to edit. So by the time I tell my colleagues how I want it to be edited and all that, I, I would have already finished the editing. So yeah, when I meet viewers in the street, they're always like, what, you edit your own videos? Yeah, I do. My colleagues do help me a lot, but they help me more like with like, like effects and all that. But anyway, I'm going to meet two German friends of mine who I have never met. Can they be my friends if I've never met them? But they are my friends' friends. And they've just come to Hong Kong on exchange. Oh! Hi! Hey there! <laughs> oh my god, you're so tall. You're so tall! There are friends from Hong Kong who are from Hong Kong. Hong Kong is very, very international. So I want to give them to see Hong Kong's Hong Kong. So Paula came to Hong Kong on exchange. Yes. And Lisa also came to Hong Kong on exchange. Yeah. And it's almost over. Yeah. But you guys did the quarantine, right? Yeah, it's two, two weeks. weeks. Carl. <laughs> and then just here for like five months? Four yeah. months. Wait, I, that's your Hong that, Kong quarantine food? Yeah. It's every this day, was... probably. <laughs> oh, what's that? It's we don't know. <laughs> I have no clue what that was. That looks alright. Yeah. Do you guys like Hong Kong so far? Yeah, yes, I love it. of course. Yeah. So, yeah. like lots of skyscrapers to like yeah. beaches, you can yeah. go on yeah. hikes. So it's not the study you like, it's mostly the playing and yeah. party. <laughs> yeah, what? Oh, Georgie! Hey, Gigi, do you want to eat the food that you want to eat? Oh, it's lots of sausages. Is yeah. it true that you girls, I mean, German people really like sausages? I guess. Not all though, but yeah, like, it's, it's a thing to do like barbecues and then yeah, like... Yeah, I'm kind of thirsty, should we get some drinks? Yeah, let's get some drinks. <laughs> oh, do you true. girls drink beer? Yes. yes. Uh, okay. So this is not yeah, German beer. I actually beer. know this one, but yeah, it's called Aquabrus Skosh Dunkel. That was enough. I would say Aquabrus Skosh Dunkel. That's exactly what I said. Oh my god! Do a lot of German people come to the restaurant? Sorry? German people? Uh. <laughs> <No>. <laughs> it seems like they might be the first Germans in this German restaurant in Hong Kong. But I took them here because their oversized one liter mug of beer looks pretty legit. Yeah. Right, so how do we do this? Okay, just cheers, right? Yeah, Prost! 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 Prost. <laughs> oh, oh my god. Sometimes. You don't drink a lot of beer? Not really. Yeah. I think in Germany it is 
quite common also for girls to drink beer. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I heard you can start drinking beer at in 16. Germany. At, so we how old were you a... when you had your first beer? I don't want to drink. Oh! <laughs> we have a saying in German which says yeah. kein, kein Bier vor vier, yeah. which means no beer before, before four o'clock. So we're doing so really good, guys. One like, fifty-five. We're a bit. Santai uh, Kin Hong. Santai Kin Hong. Yam Do Tian Guang. Yang Do Tian Guang. 冇錯，今日唔播，聽日點揮霍。知識就係你最大嘅本錢。Hence, I bring you this one-minute shoutout. I just want to say I was very lucky to meet people from all over the world and learn about their cultures and languages. But you can also do it at the comfort of your own home for cheap. Because my view is, you guys are getting a crazy 30% discount for language and culture experiences on Lingoda by using the link in my description box. Guys, this is huge because let's say you sign up for the half marathon where you prepay 900 euro for 100 live classes with Lingoda's native teachers. After you use my promo code, you only have to pay 630 euros. And just to sweeten the deal a little bit more, if you attend more than 90% of their classes in six months, you get an extra cash back, which is 200 euro in this case, but they, they have all the different marathons that you can choose. All you have to do is just sit at the comfort of your own home and go in the internet, and you can do the same thing, meeting people from all over the world, and you can learn a language from them. You can choose your topic that you like, you can choose the teachers that you like, but you can just hang out with them, and they will correct you once you make a mistake. You guys can and go and try yourself because you're getting a seven day free trial so you have nothing to lose it's obviously cheaper to prepay the classes with the marathon campaigns but if you don't want to do it you can also do their regular classes which start at around eight euros per class and you can cancel your subscription anytime happy learning so you have seen german beer in here there's pretzel every german's favorite It'd be um, crispy from the outside, then, and like, then fluffy soft and, and fluffy on the inside. Okay, okay, give it a go, give, give it a go. go. We have to like squish okay. it. Oh no! The Germany's happiness is really easy. Eating the pretzel is so happy. This is good. This oh, really? is good. This yeah. Good. Wow. This is good. Oh, it's really good. Mmm. 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 Um, the pretzel is lecker. Oh, so easy. German is basically like it's English. Like Schnitzel. It does not look... It's hiding. <laughs> a bit more like browner. The color is different. Oh, it's oh, not... Why? It's not really like loose. Oh my no. god. Is it German people's worst nightmare? A little. It does not. <laughs> I have to say, it tastes better than it looks. Okay. Wow. I was expecting worse. It's always fun to meet new friends. You learn more about their country. Uh, so in Germany, you don't line up? No, that's, that's never. Nice. Germany, Germany is like first crowd. come, first serve. You have to use your elbows to get in there. Wait, wait so when the, when the bus comes, like you just Everyone's you want to get in, so you go push in. the people into the train station. They don't line up in Germany. Inside, so yeah. <laughs> and you learn more about the person. I got COVID. You got it? Yeah. Oh. A lot of people got COVID. You got it? Yes. How was it? Pretty bad, yeah. And you learn more about their language. How do you say ambulance? Krankenwagen. Eichhörnchen. What is that? Squirrel. Squirrel. Eichhörnchen. Oh, yeah, that was pretty good. <laughs> pretty good. No, How do you yeah. say a squirrel is on an ambulance going to the hospital? Ein Eichhörnchen is in Krankenwagen auf dem Weg zum Krankenhaus. Thank you. Take yeah, care. Bye. Meeting Lovely you meeting you. Hey, good luck with so passing. Maybe tonight. <laughs> Bye. Bye. Oh, man up with exchange students Lisa and Paula and coming back to HKU really reminds me of my good old time. My motto in uni is uh, work hard, play harder. So you play and meet people 80% of the time and when you really really have to work you just stay in the library there for two weeks not meeting anyone, no one sip of alcohol and just study. So why don't you come back and do another degree? Because life goes on, life goes, life on, goes on, but... And yet obviously it doesn't go on, seeing as we're back here, so you kind of <laughs> relive your history. Speaking of reliving my history, I want to show you guys how I normally play hard in HKU. 
we have some really interesting tradition, at least with my group of friends. We, we know how to have a good time in uni. So every Friday we have a tradition of leaving school at around five o'clock and then go to this convenience store that's just around the corner. No, no, just literally down here. Yeah. Come guys. Wait, what? This is your fun? Like we're students, so we, we can't spend too much money on drinks. The closest Circle K to HKU, like... I saw there was a 7-Eleven just over there, around the corner. It's, it's nice, like you can stand around here, chat and drink, you don't have to stand next to the road. And we get a Smirnoff Ice because it's $27 for two. Yeah. And Smirnoff Ice, it's lame. We don't make it lame. There's a trick. So they don't have a bottle opener here in the store, so you have to buy a lighter every time. Thing. <laughs> and then we have a bottle of Smirnoff Ice, and you put a straw in there, the reason there's a straw here is because when you chuck it, the air will flow in from the straw and to push the liquor out. So HKU students, we're, we're like that. It's physics. So I'm going to show you how. Whoa. Are you kidding me? Oh! It must be the fact that I haven't done it for five years. It's getting very rusty. That's untrained.